Good morning and welcome to the CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Clint Yates. And I'm Dana Huey. Investigators now say 12 of the 14 people killed in the blast in West were first responders. Of the 12, eight of them were firefighters and four were EMS workers. The reason so many first responders died in the blast was because firefighters were already at the plant battling a fire Wednesday when it exploded. Yesterday marked a powerful Sunday service for many of the First Baptist Church in West. People like Whitney Carter thanked God for keeping their families alive when the blast destroyed so much around them. God put us right there because if we were still in the living room, there's no windows, there's no ceilings, there's no anything in the living room. Except and so the hallway, the, the hallway, we were safe. The explosion leveled homes and businesses near the explosion site, and about 200 people were injured. Some have been allowed to return to their homes or what's left of them. Local authorities have implemented a curfew for the people in West from sunset to 7 in the morning. A man is recovering this morning after an abandoned wrecking yard goes up in flames in Chapel Hill. It happened just after 5 Sunday night off of FM 850 at Belcher's Auto Ranch. Several fire departments were called out to the scene. No one was on the property when the structure went up in flames, but the owner's son was taken to the hospital. He was attempting to get things out of the structure to salvage them before it caught on fire, and he overexerted himself. So he was transported to the hospital just for it to be checked out and make sure he's okay. Several fire departments responded to help put out the fire. The man suffered what appears to be non-life-threatening injuries. Longtime Tyler Paper publisher Calvin Clyde Jr. has passed away. The 92-year-old died yesterday in Tyler. He retired from the paper in 1990, but remained as chairman of the board of TV Butler Publishing until his death. Clyde served in the Navy during World War II. He was known as a man who loved his community. Let's get over to Scott Fossey. He's got our Monday weather, Scott. Your CBS 19 East Texas Monday weather forecast waiting on our next cold front. It arrives in here tomorrow on Tuesday. Today, really a nice day. Temperatures back up closer to normal where they should be this time of the year. Rebounding into the upper 70s for your highs today. As we look at the forecast, we'll see clouds on the increase during the overnight tonight. Cold front slicing its way into the North Texas region before lunchtime tomorrow. Here in East Texas tomorrow afternoon, we'll see an increased likelihood for widely scattered showers and a few embedded thunderstorms along and ahead of the front tomorrow. Nice and dry today. Look for afternoon highs near 77 as south wind today at 10 to 15. Overnight tonight we drop off to 60 to kickstart your Tuesday. Highs tomorrow ahead of the front in the mid 70s with about a 20 to 30 percent chance for scattered afternoon and evening thunderstorms tomorrow. Long and ahead of that front and some overrunning moisture behind the front giving us a slight chance for showers overnight Tuesday night through early Wednesday morning. Temperatures tomorrow that's the big story drop up some 15 to 20 degrees into the 50s behind the front tomorrow afternoon. And you can check out CBS19.tv and TylerPaper.com for the latest news updates. Hope you have a great Monday. See you back here tomorrow morning.